But I really don't know anything about politics, to be honest with you, and I think that's kind of good. Well, it depends on how stupid I sound. I am afraid of sounding stupid too. I can tell you right now, at Politicon, if this was called Video Game Con, <laughs> I would be totally good. But I really don't know anything about politics, to be honest with you, and I think that's kind of good going into it. Sure. Oh. Because it means I probably don't have as much bias as the next guy. Yeah. So what's something that motivated you enough to like actually come over here? Like, what do you think is important? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest, uh, I actually built my own website, and it's political, politically focused at least. Automatically well, depends sound. on how stupid I sound. I am afraid <laughs> of sounding stupid too. I can tell you right now. Automatically well, depends sound. on how stupid I sound. I am afraid <laughs> of sounding stupid too. I can tell you right now. At Politicon, if this was called Video Game Con, <laughs> I would be totally good. But I really don't know anything about politics, to be honest with you. And I think that's kind of good going into it. Sure. Oh. Because it means I probably don't have as much bias as the next guy. Yeah. So what's something that motivated you enough to like actually come over here? Like, What do you think is important? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest, uh, I actually built my own website. And it's political, politically focused, at least at the moment. Plug it. So what is I it? <laughs> it's called Chronicles. Um, and There's no way you got Chronicles.com. No, I sure didn't. I had to put a K in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I tried so hard. Spell and it. no one's using the regular one, which is really frustrating. Spell but. it out for me. So, uh, so the second C is a K. So got it. Otherwise, spell the normal way. Perfect. Right. Okay. Uh, but the... What it, the way it works is uh, it's uh, basically a news feed in chronological order, um, and you, it's community-generated content. So users come onto the site, yeah. they uh, submit their event, and it could be any event. It's just as an example, Donald Trump is elected president of the United States is an event. Sure. It includes any sources that prove the event, that kind of verify it. This should be verifiable content. And a moderator will verify that content, clean up the language a little bit to make sure it's as objective as possible. I like that. It also has hashtags similar to Twitter, so you can filter out just to follow events related specifically to Donald Trump or Joe Biden or specific entity that you want to follow. So if I can summarize, it's sort of like Reddit slash news, but better controlled? Better controlled. Um, it will eventually be built as a platform like Wikipedia, where users can come in and uh, edit the content and make sure it's uh, clarified. Nice. Right? So nice. that's the idea. And the idea is to be able to build timelines and provide context around information that we're presented in the news media or whatever that it, we don't otherwise get in an article when we're. I get what you're doing, but why do you think that's important? Uh, I think it's important because uh, because we don't have the content. When we get an, uh, when we get a, read a headline as an example, uh, it's very emotional, right? Mm. We always have an emotional re reaction to the things that we. Newspapers got to make that twenty five cents. Exactly, it's clickbait. Yeah. that's what it is, and that's what these outlets are trying to do. And it doesn't matter; there it's on all sides, right? Um, sure. I know I have yeah. my bias. But oh yeah, it's definitely. On all sides. Same here. Same um, here. And the uh, the problem I have with that setup is that people react to that emotion without looking at the context behind it. And my objective is to provide them that context so that they can look at, from now on, they get used to the idea of reading a headline, maybe even reading into the article and going, okay, but what is this person not telling? Mm. And very often they will be missing a whole lot of information. Otherwise, my website would supplement that, would provide that context. It would just supply context to the headline stories of today, yesterday, right. whatever. Right. So, for example, you'd be reading an article on CNN or Fox News. Mm. You would click a plug-in uh, that would open up events related to that article that you're reading. Okay. So, for example, the invasion into Syria from Turkey. Okay. Uh, uh, less than a week, or a week or so yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't. I don't even honestly have a lot of information on the background of that. I, sure, sure, I sure. I have my opinions on it, but right, right, right. it's really uninformed, right? Um, and I think that it would be awesome if I could go to an article on NPR and read through somebody talking about Syria, just uh, to get more information, and then have this context to go. Well, here's why they make these kind of decisions. Here's what they did before. Here's what these all these different players used to be doing. So that's, that was the idea. What's the next best thing aside from your website? If you if 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 the goal is I really care about people getting contextual information. Mm -hmm. If they didn't know about your website, where's the next best source for them to get it? So, actually, somebody told me something interesting today that they do uh, that I'd for whatever reason I never even considered. 
Um, I had a, I've been talking to people about it, trying to get feedback on it, um, asking them to visit the site so they can get some ideas, uh, so I can hear what they have to say about it. And I asked this guy, where do you get your news? Like, how do you aggregate? Yeah. You know, usually somebody does, goes to some kind of an aggregator. Yourself? Right. Um, and what he does is, if it is U.S.-based uh, news or information, he's going to go to a foreign outlet and read that information. Oh, that's going to be a little bit more objective. Maybe not all the way, but a little so bit like more. So like BBC? <laughs> like BBC. But he won't go to BBC for U.K. news. He'll go to... You know, RT? Somewhere else, right, RT or something else, right? Mm. And I thought that was an interesting... That is interesting I've because there's always a uh, country bias of like, hey, right. is America the best source of news for what's going on in North Korea? Right. Like, right. And I mean, and, and I think at the, it's, uh, to me it's interesting. I mean, I, there's, there's, there's probably valid reasons why it doesn't work or why it does. But the, thought, the thing I thought was interesting about that concept is that uh, when you are in it... Mm. It's kind of like the fish doesn't that doesn't know that he's in an ocean, because that's all he knows. Yeah, right? yeah that's yeah. all he's surrounded yeah, by. Yeah. But he doesn't know that's what he's in. Yeah, but like you You're know, somebody somebody like on the surface of the ocean looking down understands the concept that somebody. Like, I get you know it. What I mean? It's just the outsider perspective. Right. Hopefully, they can be a bit more objective. For say, mention things to right. the person who's reading that from inside the bubble, being like, "Air? What mm -hmm. is he talking about? Yeah. Oh, maybe there's or even Wikipedia is another good thing. But I just don't think that there's really much of anything out there that really gives people the context around the information they're getting. Can I exhibit my bias? I actually please. think, and please feel free to critique, I think Wikipedia is actually probably the best source of information. It's grown from just a index mm -hmm. to a good place to get community-based as uh, passive information as yep. possible. So like when 24-hour news cycles like, a bomb exploded, 600 people are dead. Mm -hmm. Flip the channel. 650 are dead? Flip. We actually confirmed only 30 people are dead. Wikipedia right. is like, actually it was just 20. Here's the citation. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but that's what it does, right? That's the community-generated No content, ads. Right? And, and now I'll say this. I'm, I am, uh, I have a love-hate relationship with Wikipedia because I, I love the concept. Yes. Absolutely. And I do think that you're going to get the most accurate information out of it possibly. Possible, but I do come across articles where if it's contentious enough, it's mm. particularly if it's a political figure or a yeah. public figure of some kind that's contentious enough, yeah. and they don't protect that page, yeah. and they don't do it for all oh, of them, yes, then yes. it's totally... But you cool. have that history section which backs you up. So like, I'm from academia, like mm -hmm. I've, I've been science. If you want to get a scientific article, you have to pay money for every article. Oh, if you're out of the school system, I hate that. It's so it's infuriating. Yep. It's like you yep. just discovered something awesome, locked behind forty four dollars. It's mm -hmm. like I'm not going to pay for That's that. Why I don't go to Washington Post and New York Times? It's really because, crazy. I mean, you know, other people are writing about what you're writing about, but they're not charging me. For it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and you know. this is like the next level hard hitting science. There should be like a Wikipedia version of science, where it's just here are the oh, latest agree. ideas for the last three I years. Agree. After this, I've we'll, had that thought in my we'll head. We'll charge too, it for like, maybe two. At some point or another, you got to have that built. And I'm just I, we're on the same way down the road, but that'd be something I would for sure. Wonderful. I'm going to look for something to disagree on as just a double time. Oh, is that what we're doing? Okay. No, 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 no. This is <laughs> okay. not that. I, just, a, just as a thoughtful question. Uh -huh. Is there any benefit to... If I can... How about this? If I can if I can remove myself from... I have my news sources like Chronicle. I have my news sources like Wikipedia. Or are there as close to fair or at least biased or community-driven news yeah. sites possible? But then I have entertainment. Do you understand what I mean? Right. And I like entertainment. Like, I want to watch, I don't know any good names, uh, Wolf Blitzer okay. be like, I don't even know if he's for, on TV. You're, you're talking about, like, news I want, like, there are people who just, like, may watch that for, like, right. the Stephen Colbert when he had his own show. Right. Yeah, like, I just want to be entertained yep. while I watch this with something that sort of, in, that falls within my... My my own biases. Right. That just makes the news a little more palatable, so that yeah. I one entertain myself, but two maybe learn some things that's going on. Mm -hmm. But I won't take it as seriously if I can like if I can sugarcoat it with the actual real news, or at least know how to get access for to well, real news. I mean, I'll is say, that a good medium? So I'll say that that um, information can be dry. There's no doubt about it. So there is something that you have to do to uh, to spice it up to draw the attention, right? Yeah. And that's, a, that's what a lot of these guys do. That's what Sean Hannity does. That's what Glenn Beck does. That's is Sean what, Hannity the bow tie guy? Uh, that's Tucker. Okay. Tucker's the bow tie guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but and same there's with, a bow tie guy. That's right. Same thing. with Rachel Maddow. I okay. mean, they all they spice up their show to get out the information that they want to get out. Right. Right. 
I, I, which, fair enough. I mean, I don't criticize that. I mean, right, right, right. That's just what you do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, you're trying to sell dog food. Go right. for it. And I think the issue you're trying to address is, in terms of being, playing devil's advocate for Chronicles, is that uh, how are you going to have that engagement, right, on yeah. boring information? Um, because we already have a C-SPAN. We've already right. got you right. know, NPR. And I think that part of what is required here is a social aspect, right? A social media aspect to where you go and uh, create timelines yourself. So eventually there'll be a user base to the platform where people will jump in and say, okay, here are the events you should see because I'm making this argument and this is, this is the, uh, these are the events that support my argument. Mm -hmm. That's essentially what somebody would do. Okay. And I think that's how it would spice it up to draw attention to the information. So you're not just going to go through and scroll through every single possible event there is. You're going to follow somebody who's creating timelines because you think he's interesting or you agree with them. Is there a possibility you that you'll also fall into the same bubble? That you, because you follow the three people who've already kind of agreed oh, with Oh, absolutely. There's, there's almost no getting around it, right? People are going to do what's going to support their bias. There's may I, confirmation bias. That's may I make a recommendation? Please. If, if you're in control of this? Please. Just make the algorithm be like, and here's some crazy opposite ideas of like, or at least a place or a section in the site where it's like the counter. Or mm -hmm. like, this is, we know what you are based on your algorithm. Yep. Here's the exact counter to it. Or here's a person who's completely counter to you. Yeah. Just educate yourself with where this guy is coming from. Right. You might I, you might find something is, interesting. That is a, no, that's a really, I, that's something I've considered. I'm not sure how that works yet, but it's something I've considered. The only thing I push back on a little <laughs> bit is the word algorithm. Yeah. Because... It's just one of those words that like becomes a it's, cop out. I know it's a trigger word, guys. but you know what I mean. Right. I know totally what you okay. mean. Yeah, okay, absolutely. So, but yeah, appreciate it. What was your name? My name's Ty. Ty Max. Max. Nice I to don't meet think you, we would introduce ourselves. At the no, we really didn't. No, no. orange Wasn't mangoes. Though, orange it? mangoes. That's <laughs> all that matters. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> See you, man. Great. Uh, I'm gonna go get another person. Yeah, that's me.